Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Vietnam War on my channel, I'm Mike B, and today we're gonna to be going over a sort of macro subject so I can make subsequent videos going into the micro of this subject. And that's uh, the major divisions or units that, that have like combat arms, um, you know, infantry guys, artillery, all that stuff in the army that served in Vietnam. Now this isn't gonna be counting like support or medical or um, I guess I can, I can do the engineers because they're combat arms. Um, so we're going to go through all those units. We're not talking about like aviation, um, the U.S. forces in Vietnam, all that stuff. The, the bigger units, we're talking about like infantry units that were out fighting and in different areas of the um, peninsula or the country. It's on a peninsula, whatever. So the first one is obviously going to be the 1st Infantry Division. Um, this unit's been in basically every conflict since the beginning of the United States. And uh, so they were there, I think, from about 65. Well, I'm not going to go in when they were there. Um, we'll do that in another video, when they were there and where they were. That'll be a really long video. And then I'll get to the other like, supporting units and all that stuff in another video. But this one's going to be the actual fighting units. Sorry. Oh, early morning burps. Um, fighting units that were in Vietnam you know, at some point during like 64 to, to 73, basically. That's when most of them left. Anyway, so we got the 1st Infantry Division, right? They were there basically the whole time. 2nd um, Infantry Division was not there, they were in Korea. So a lot of people think that the 2nd and 3rd Infantry Division were, they were actually not in the Vietnam War. So that's very interesting because they were in basically every conflict before then, but not in this conflict. The 4th Infantry Division, right? The unit patch of the four lieutenants pointing north, the IV Division. They were there, um, pretty interesting unit. The 5th Infantry Division, which no longer exists, um, was the Red Diamond Division. Um, it's, a, again, a pretty old unit, but it doesn't exist anymore. They were there, and they were uh, mechanized, actually, for the most part, and they were up in the northern area by the demilitarized zone, but, again, we'll get into that on the other video. 6th wasn't there, 7th, 8th, 9th Infantry Division. So that's the... Uh, the old reliables, right? The psychedelic flower, they called it. They were there. Um, that unit doesn't exist anymore either. In the early 90s, it was disbanded. A lot of, a lot of unit history there as well. But that was an interesting unit. There's a reason I, I enjoy it. And yeah, it was Forrest Gump's unit. It's not why I enjoy it. I enjoy the actual kind of what they did. They were a fairly unique for an army, army division and what they did in Vietnam. But anyway, all right, so 10th Mountain wasn't there. Now we've got the 11th Armored Cavalry regiment, I guess they are. Um, they had a lot of infantrymen attached to them, a lot of infantry attached to them. I missed a unit, but I'll go over that next because it goes along with this. So 11th Armored Cavalry, they actually went into Cambodia. So that's an interesting story we'll talk about. We'll try to talk about all these units in, in subsequent videos. I'll go over them and kind of give you the history and what they did and where they were. It's got the 11th Armored Cavalry. Then you've got the 1st Air Cavalry Division, Air Mobile. Um, if you've seen We Were Soldiers, yeah, it, everybody loves that unit. It's got a cool, huge patch and everything. A lot of history, they were there and uh, in a lot of bad situations. Um, so there's that, the 1st first, first Air Cavalry Division, Air Mobile. So those are the two cavalry divisions that I can think of at this moment. Yeah, that were actually, they had a ton of infantry attached to them, um, and they were using vehicles or helicopter vehicles or helicopter, or Helicopters are vehicles. Good God, I can't talk today. Anyway, so they use vehicles a lot, the cavalry units, so their horses were replaced by technology, which is interesting. So then you fast forward, go through all the like teen units, um, and then you get to the t uh, 20s, which would be the 20th Engineer Brigade. Or, yeah, 20th Engineer Brigade. So that's going to be the, the rhombus with like the, the castle in it and whatever. It's, it's an interesting patch. They're still around today. I think they're a reserve unit. Those combat engineers, they did a lot of stuff. Actually, it was weird because Al Gore, when he was there, was attached to them and kind of with them for a few months. If you didn't know that Al Gore was in Vietnam, we'll do a video on that. It's pretty funny. No, he didn't do much, but he was still there. But, all right, so you got the 20th Engineer Brigade, and now you go to the 23rd Infantry Division, is what it was after a certain incident happened in 1968. It was called the Americal Division before then. It didn't have a number attached to it, right? And that was the shield with the four stars on it, right? The, the Southern Cross, basically, is what that is. And that was an interesting unit. It had some history with their, the Milai Massacre, if you haven't heard of that. That's what happened, and then they kind of 
the whole honors thing, the disgrace, the unit. And then they became the 23rd Infantry Division, and they were there. Um, the 25th Infantry Division, if you've seen Platoon, yep, the, the Electric Strawberry. So it's actually the Terra Leaf, because it was a Hawaiian division, just like the 24th. They both feature the Terra Leaf. The 25th Division is just the, uh, just the leaf, though. It doesn't have a circle around it. And uh, so they were there, and they were in a lot of, a lot of shit as well. So 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th. 30th, now you're getting into the National Guard units, okay? So all the way up until, I mean, there were some National Guard soldiers there, but they weren't there in huge numbers, um, like we talked about in the other video. So then you fast forward, go all the way up to 45 as National Guard, right? And um, then you're starting to get into, like, the 82nd Airborne Division, okay? They were there. The 101st Airborne Division was there. And then the... Um, 173rd Airborne Brigade was actually in Vietnam. That's a pretty interesting story as well. So you've got the 1st Infantry Division, the 4th, 5th, 9th, 1st Air Cav, 11th Armored Cavalry, um, 23rd or AmeriCal, 20th Engineer Brigade, for, don't forget about those guys, uh, 25th Division, 82nd Airborne. I think it jumps because all those units are National Guard or Reserve units. So, yeah, very interesting to see kind of who was in Vietnam and all that stuff. Um, 82nd, 101st, 173rd. Those are the major, like, fighting units that were there. Uh, this isn't counting the Marines. Obviously, this is just Army. So, and then, you know, other branches had their fighting forces, too. But the major divisions that were in Vietnam from 1964 to 73 were what I just said. So, I'm pretty sure I didn't forget anything because... Uh, Air Cav, Engineers, Infantry Divisions. Yeah, so it wasn't really a huge number of y actual divisions and units, like infantry, you know, and, and combat arms units that were in Vietnam. But what happened was people would rotate in and replace whatever unit needed manpower. So that's kind of how that worked. It wasn't like nowadays where uh, this unit would deploy as a whole and all that stuff. So another video will cover that. I always get more ideas for videos when we're doing videos. But anyway, I hope that kind of gave you uh, a little idea of, you know, there weren't really that many divisions there compared to like World War II or even Desert Storm, I'm pretty sure, had more uh, divisions involved than um, uh, the whole Vietnam War, like as far as infantry and, you know, combat arms is what I'm going to say. So very interesting stuff. Um, yeah, so that's the macro thing and we'll get into each, I hope to go through each unit eventually and kind of give the overview of what they did, where they were, how long they were there. Um, etc etc but yeah hopefully we'll keep this video kind of short I don't know how long we've been running but I just needed to get all the major units all right stop rambling thanks for watching everybody hope you learned something make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell and we'll see you on the next video